So in this video, we got some more information about team of the season in FC Mobile, when it's gonna be coming out. It is gonna be coming out earlier that we think it's gonna be coming out. So yeah, it's gonna be very, very exciting. I'm gonna show you the new daily uh, daily rewards that we're gonna get, where we're gonna get free match runners as well as free team of the season player packs and all that. So make sure to like and subscribe if you're excited for it. So as you can see right there, we've got this information from Saprit right here. And he just stated that we're gonna, uh, the probability team of the season event is gonna start on 25th of April, which is quite interesting because we all thought that it was going to start on 29th of April just because uh, we, were, uh, we were going to get a live stream on 26th. So it does not really make sense for us to get a, uh, get a team of the season event on 25th of April when um, the event is going uh, when the live stream is going to be coming out on 26th. So it doesn't really make sense. My uh, my guess is that we're going to get some kind of a team of the season event type of thing on 25th. For example, we're going to get like daily rewards maybe on 25th or something like that. Uh, or maybe um, something to uh, like we are going to be able to get like some kind of tokens on 25th but the whole the uh, the entire team of the season the main part is going to start on 29th so that's pretty much my guess some some part might, uh, might start on 25th but the main event is still going to be on 29th can exchange scout points to icon points that is very very important um, for you to go ahead and save your scout points this is obviously centurion's points i'm going to go ahead and show you what scout points are if you forgot about it then you can go ahead and exchange pass points into icon points as well um, to go ahead and get some icon points. This is not uh, obviously uh, this is not team of the season points. These are icon points. So which mean uh, so that means we're gonna get a whole new chapter with icon point uh, with icon chapter. It was the same thing I think the last time we had team of the season. And it was not really the most exciting thing. So hopefully this time is going to be a lot more exciting. But then uh, does daily uh, does login reward end on 25th of April? Um, he just asked ask the question because we are most likely going to get new daily rewards on 25th. So yeah, I feel like that's the reason. Uh, we're going to get 88 to 95 overall Centurions player pack um, for, uh, in one of the daily rewards as well as a free Mascherano and a 91 overall team of the season card. That's interesting. 91 overall team of the season. I mean, it's not the highest overall, but we're still going to get a team of the season card. 85 to, 88 to 95 overall Centurions player. And I think Mascherano is the one that's, uh, that people want the most. Uh, so we're going to get a free Mascherano as well. And he also stated that the pop-up promo set um, set to 29th of April. So we're going to get a pop-up promo. Um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really sure what that is. And there is something about countdown gifts day one to five we're gonna get some more countdown gifts uh day one to five so yeah we're gonna be getting more gifts which is nice and i feel like that yeah the main image is gonna start um on 29th of april uh but they're gonna there is gonna be some part of it on 25th before we get the main team this also these are the next mystery signing reward uh, reward players that we're gonna get as you can see right there it is unconfirmed but most likely we're gonna get these a 90 overall striker guri and 90 overall center back hinkape from um from bio leverkusen of course let me know down in the comment section which one of these you're gonna take it's not really the most important line it's only 90 overall but still basically for those team this is an icon points we're gonna be able to use scout points and these scout points are these ones right there you can go on and get 100 scout points by exchanging 380 plus overall players as well as 870 plus overall players which if you want to you can definitely go ahead and do to get extra 100 scout points as well as you can go ahead and get extra 100 by playing some of these worst attack head to head or uh, matches against AI to get 100 points, 100 scout progress, and then you can go on and convert those 100 scout po progress into 100 scout points. As well as that, you can go ahead and get like nine more, I think, from ads, which is true. You can go ahead and get nine more uh, from those ads, and you can get some more from Centurion's Quest, of course. You can go ahead and get 100 there, 200 there, 100 there, 200 again, another 100, and another 300 points uh, at the end when you go ahead and claim all of that. So make sure you go ahead and get as many scout points as possible and don't spend any of them. Just don't spend on these rewards because, in my opinion, it's definitely not worth it. I did spend them today. Uh, but uh, that was when I didn't really know if we were going to be able to exchange those tokens, these points into team of the season points. But now that we know that we uh, those ones are going to be useful to transfer into the uh, into the next event points, then I'm not going to be spending any more of these. Obviously, you're not going to be able to try uh, to exchange um, like as many as many scouting points as possible. There might be a limit to like 200 or 300, but we don't know how many uh, scout points we need 
to transfer to exchange into icon points so i'm just gonna be getting as many of these as possible and i'm not gonna be spending any of them you, so you should still get this zico as well as this lamb by the way and you should spend your points for, uh, for getting those two cards as well as for getting this to the uh, to be champion uh, centurions uh chapter um tokens you should go and get as many of these as possible um so yeah that's pretty much it i want to go ahead and open this actually and get some of this done i can um i can get until this right 90 to 9 uh, 60 to 90 overall players and then uh today actually i will be able to claim Mueller, gerd Mueller, or mashurano which is quite decent so let me go ahead and open all six of these at the same time uh we've got 80 to 87 overall players 20 to 200 gems or some coins so let's see what we're gonna get we've got 140 gems um we've got 20,000 coins and 83 overall uh, costage so not the best one but we can go ahead and get a lot of fodder there this is very very nice for me because i'm gonna be getting a lot of uh, not high overall cards but hopefully i get like a lot of 80 to 92 overall cards which is gonna be useful for uh for the future team of the season exchanges of course not even a workout wow Wow, these packs are bad. We've got just 180 overall, 182 um, silvers and 29 bronzes. I thought I was going to be able to get like one walkout at least, but no walkouts from this one. That was bad. Let's open the midfielder ones now. Let's go and open the mid midfielder one and let's see if we're going to get a walkout. We did get a walkout from this one. It's a UCL one. It's going to be Croatian. This is probably Ivan Rakitic. It is Rakitic rather, right 84 overall Rakitic, still not a great pack, 184, 180, like 6 silvers and 22 bronzes rather, right at least bronzes are going to be useful for me to train some of the team of the season players in the future, but I really expect to, expected to get some like near 90 overall cards, 87s, 88s, 89s, but as you can see, I didn't even, okay, I did get 180 overall, but yeah, these ones, these ones are a lot worse than what you think. Getting 40, 30 and 30 players, 60 to 92, you will think you're gonna get a couple of like high overall cards, but not really, not really. EA decided uh, not to give out any high overall cards. I can open this Centurion Standard Pack, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. And I need to play those Centurion Challenges, man. I always forget to do that. I need to play that to get this Ultra Pack as well as another Mashrano at the end. So let me just open this uh, Standard Pack. We are gonna get a Walkout, which, which is a decent start, but not anything special. Is that mess? No, it's gonna, it's not gonna be messy. Messi is essential forward. We got 84 overall Nico Gonzalez as well as 80 overall Tigers. We got Ever Banega is a 79 overall card, and nothing really that great anymore. We're gonna take those 200 uh, gems as well. I've got 92,000 gems. If you want to know how I got like extra couple of thousand gems i pretty much exchanged my division rival points 1000 of them into this 200 uh, 2500 gems and yeah i'm gonna be doing that as many times as possible i think those gems are definitely definitely useful 